old Calvinistic rules in which the old uh, previous government was driven from do do this on a Sunday, don't do that here, don't do that there. So we need to challenge the the, the whole issue about not only the the, the, the role of the um, informal trader as a job creator, etc., but as also as part of the free market system. I mean, you know, we we so anti-socialism with the government, but why is it that the informal trader not be part of the free market? Obviously, within some sense of rules and regulations. And the impact, obviously, on it is that it's, it's really, I mean, it's a confiscation of goods. And for an informal trader to have your goods confiscated and not in being returned is a big issue. Because where are you going to get the money to buy new goods? Secondly, it is the issue about when they take your goods, they even take your papers. And then to go and apply again for papers is a, it's a huge effort. The issue about um, loss of income, because now you lose your goods, plus you can't trade, and plus you get a fine. So all of these things, you know, and luckily the South Houting High Court made a ruling in terms of the return of the goods, etc. But those are the three issues, loss of income, confiscation of goods, and then also your papers.